Good morning, Hampton Roads. How's everybody doing today? And welcome to Virginia's only local real estate investing podcast, where we get to talk about local investors, local deals, and all things local. I'm your host, the founder of the Master Investor Academy and author of my best-selling book, Work Just Gets in the Way of Making Money, Scott Jelinek. Uh, welcome to the show. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, properties you'd like to sell or things you'd like to discuss, you can go ahead and text me at 757-699-4227. That's 757-699-4227. So today is Wednesday. Yesterday was an unbelievable 70 degrees sunny day in the middle of February. Now we're back down to 30s today. I don't know where it came from or what happened, but it was an absolutely fantastic day. I was uh, I was thrilled to uh, to be out and about doing it. So I had one appointment yesterday out in Suffolk with one of my um, coaching partners. And this one was an interesting one because it was in a neighborhood where we really buy slow flips. It's in a neighborhood where a lot of the properties on the block are selling for 20 and 30 grand. But yet this one is 2,400, 24 or 2,500 square feet big beast of a house where the rest of them are like 600, 700 square feet. The guy who bought it already has been renovating it. New roof, new siding, new windows. Inside is a complete gut job. And he, I think he's over it. He's been working on it for like a year already. He wants X amount for it. I can't find the value in it. We're going to see if, if anybody will be interested in it. I really can't find the value because I believe it'll probably be worth two and a quarter, maybe even 250. But with the square footage and the amount of work it needs, I just I don't know that anybody's going to be able to pull it off and still be profitable with it. But it was actually uh, still still a good appointment and you know one that was worthwhile. Um, something else I wanted to tell you funny that happened yesterday was I have a, a slow flip tenant of mine who was calling. He's in the process of selling the house. I actually have three of those going on right now. And it's interesting. We'll talk about it another time. But it's interesting because it's so rare that a slow flip buyer actually pays you off. And yet now I have three simultaneously. And again, we'll talk about it another day, but just to give you some rough numbers, these are houses I bought for 22 grand, 25 grand, sold for 89 grand. Now the person renovated it and they're reselling it and I'm going to get paid off my 89 grand. So it's a fantastic situation and I have three of them going simultaneously. But anyway, so he called the office and he asked, he wanted my information to be able to contact me. And Stacy at the office gave him my email address which is, if you guys don't know my email address already, it is scott at uglyscott.com. Well, he thought that she was just being rude or being arrogant or whatever, you know, you don't have, if you don't want to give it to me, you don't have to type of thing. Like we were making up the ugly Scott. I finally spoke to him on the phone and explained, and he was, you know, and he was just telling me, oh, I thought, I thought she was just messing with me when she said it was ugly Scott. But, um, but anyway, so that's, that's my email address. And in his head, he thought it was a scam or who would, who would use that as their email address. And, uh, and he didn't even believe that it was, in fact, a real email address, which it is. So yesterday evening, and then I'll tell you what I want to talk about today. So um, yesterday evening, I went to the porch. Um, you guys probably know where that is. It's over at the marina here in Virginia Beach. And um, I just had a few drinks before I came home and some appetizers, met some friends. And uh, they make, for those of you who are into it, you know, I like margaritas. They make spicy margaritas there, jalapeno spicy margaritas. So it was a uh, if you like spicy and you like margaritas, I recommend that place. That was a, I mean, it's at, right at the end of my block, so it's really easy to drive for me. But if you happen to be down this way, um, this section of town, it was well worth it. It was, it was a fantastic. I'm, I mean, maybe I had three, four, or six of them. I don't know, but they were absolutely delicious, spicy jalapeno margaritas. So, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, and this is only because three times in the last week, three times in the last week. I've had somebody contact me with a property per, you know, that fits sort of my slow flip criteria. And three different times, they've told me that it's priced more than it should be, that it's priced more than they knew I would pay, but prefaced it by saying, but it's a hot market. So you understand, or it's a hot market. So this is the way it is, or it's a hot market. And I got to tell you, and it's really, really important that I wanted to get through to you on this. Yes, it is a hot market. It's unprecedented hot market. This is 2005 hot if not hotter than that. So, so we can clear that up right now. If you're buying a flip, if you're buying a wholesale, if you're wholesaling, we can go above our numbers because the market is insane hot. I told you about this one I contracted um, this past, was it this Monday or Friday? Last Friday I contracted it. Yeah, last Friday I contracted it. And I am going to, uh, I'm going to wholesale it. And I'm going to take you guys with me through the numbers on that. After I close, I should close this Friday, which is two days from now. 
and I'm going to take you through the numbers. Now, I paid well above what my calculator would have said I can pay, but I'm still going to make probably 50 grand on it. So in today's market, yes, we can go above the numbers. If you're wholesaling, if you're wholetailing, if you're going to rehab, yes, we can go beyond the numbers because the market time is quick. We're getting above asking. We're not, we can, we can um, slow down on concessions, closing cost assistance, that sort of stuff. So yes, we can go above our numbers, but Let's talk about your holds, be it rentals or slow flips. No, you absolutely cannot change your numbers for holds. Holds, You just can't do it. And the reason is the market is irrelevant. The market is irrelevant. If you're keeping this property for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, it doesn't matter that you bought it during a hot market. You either buy properties that meet your numbers and meet your criteria or you wait. Does that make sense to you guys? Or just wait. There is zero value in you buying properties that do not fit your criteria now and justifying it because you're saying to yourself, well, it's a hot market. Because guess what? Next year when it's not a hot market, you're still going to own this property that you paid too much for. I hope I'm getting through to you and I hope that makes sense because it's three times in one week I've had different people send me a property and justify their price because it's a hot market. Now, I get it if you're wholesaling, wholetailing, rehabbing you can get around the numbers being that it's a hot market. But if you are buying holds and if you're in the hold business like I am, and I plan on being in this hold business for the next 30 years, 40 years, you know, I plan on being in the hold business forever. You can't buy outside of your numbers just because 2021 is a hot market or 2020 was a hot market or 2022 is a hot market because we need to have this property be working for us for the next 10, 20, 30 years. And so you have to buy based on your numbers, period. So I'm hoping I get that through to you. If you're in a situation like that and you're feeling like, you know, I know I was only supposed to spend 30 grand or I was only supposed to pay 100 grand, whatever your numbers are, but it's a hot market and he wants 120, don't do it. You have to make the numbers work for what you need. Don't accept negative cash flow. Don't accept overpaying. If you're going to keep the property, you cannot overpay. It has to be based on your numbers. Everybody has different buying criteria. And so I'm not going to tell you what your criteria needs to be, but whatever your criteria is, you need to stick with it. If you're using banks and doing conventional rentals, that's fine, but you need to stick with your numbers. Don't change them because we're in a hot market and don't change them because somebody is selling you on um, the urgency and the market's so heated up. If somebody ever gets that way, as soon as they start saying, oh, it's a hot market, hot market, I'm like, well, go sell it to someone else. Let someone else regret that for the rest of their lives. It's not going to be me. I strictly stick to my criteria. Hope that helps you guys. I just really wanted to touch on that today because yes, we are in a hot market. But when you are buying long-term holds, be it rentals or slow flips, you must 100% of the time stick to your numbers. So one last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about before I let you go today. Um, I have another podcast that I haven't been working on much lately. It's called The Ugly Truth About Real Estate Investing. And we used to bring people on and interview on that podcast. I wanna, I'm going to start working on that again, but I wanted to ask you guys on my local show, on Good Morning Hampton Roads, who is it that you want to hear? And I will send them a message and I will get them on the show. I'm going to put them on that show, but you guys can flip flop back over and it'll still be here on the YouTube channel. So if you can send me a text, send me an email. Um, let me know who it is you would like to hear um, me interview on the podcast. You can text me at 757-699-4227. Let me know who you'd be interested in listening to. And I'm going to send them a message and get them on here. I want to start doing at least one, one a week, um, if not more, because I really think we get a lot of value out of listening to other people's um, situations, other people's triumphs, other people's problems, other people's mistakes. And, um, and so I really want to start bringing that to you guys as well, because I think, uh, you know, it's one thing to get value from me. And I've lost, you know, I've, I've lost so much money. I have a lot of input to give on, on things to do that things that I've done wrong. I can teach you how not to do, but we get so much more value if I start bringing other people on here and learning from their mistakes as well. That's all I got for you guys today. Go out and do something today. Your future self is going to thank you for Thank you for listening. I uh, greatly appreciate it. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if you're watching on uh, YouTube and subscribe. And if you are listening on the podcast, if you wouldn't mind, I know I ask you every day to go ahead and leave me a rating and review. I greatly appreciate it. You guys have a fantastic day and I will talk to you tomorrow.